Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch for you. So we have a new watch from MEC EXP, Mechanical Experience. Now this watch brand produces that really cool watch that kind of goes up and down. It has a mechanical actually belt that drives it up and down, uh, the actual uh, watch itself, which is pretty cool. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is actually the titanium version, uh, which is actually really nice. It's made of full titanium. Uh, it's run on a charged battery. Um, I did review the other one, um, I believe on the different kind of band. I have this one on the actual rubber band, so this, this one's a little bit different. Same, you know, uh, movement, uh, just a bit different uh, color. Obviously it's titanium, it's a bit lighter as well, and different band. On my wrist today is the Oceanica Sea Raven, as you can see here, a sandblasted uh, diver, 200 meters, a uh, nice green dial. Very, very nice proportions as well. As you can see, fitted on my 6.5 inch wrist there. Really, really cool. Uh, yeah, that's what's on my wrist today. Now, the shipping was very quick. The watch actually arrived in about two or three business days, which is very fast. This is the actual port that'll change if you don't have the new iPhone with the new charger. Uh, this will convert that, considering this is the same port as the newer iPhone models. And this is the charger right here. And below you get your instruction booklet. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple uh, packaging there. Now here is the watch in question. Like I said, it looks exactly the same. It's just in titanium and on the fluoro rubber band. I actually much prefer this model uh, over the other model, which was the black PVD model. As you can see, this is the charger it comes with. This, correct, this uh, connects directly to the back of the watch. Uh, custom branded charger as well. This goes into your iPhone charger. If you don't, or if you have the older USB charger, uh, that's why you have the USB connector there if you wanted to switch that. But yeah, a really cool watch. And of course you do get that blue light which lights it up at night if you wanna see it outside. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get into some basic specifications and a little more about this piece. We're looking at 42 millimeters across the case there. Top to bottom, you're looking at 50 millimeters. Case thickness, you're looking at 14.5 millimeters. Drilled lug holes. If you really want, you can change bands on this if you wish, uh, no issues there, but the band it comes on is actually really nice. This is their black floral rubber with a full titanium signed buckle, uh, which is very, very good looking, I think. The watch itself, in terms of branding, as you can see there on the front portion, you do get uh, MEC EXP, and then fly back over here, as these do fly back, um, these little arrows here, as you can see, it just changed in minutes, and it kind of goes ding, and then it goes zzz, when it changes the full hour. Uh, so it's pretty cool. On the left hand of the watch, you do get your hours, and then your minutes on the right portion. So you have two windows here, both are sapphire crystal, uh, which is very nice. 22 millimeters in between those lugs, very easy to swap bands if you really want to. You can put, pretty much put on any kind of band, a leather, rubber, NATO, whatever you choose. Uh, the watch itself does have a CNC motor driven movement. Very innovative, I must say. Um, I haven't really seen a CNC motor driven watch with these two kind of sides here. Um, so that's very interesting. They kind of produce their own thing. Um, these sides of the watch, pretty decent finishing, very smooth to the touch, no issues there. And you do get those drilled lug holes. The crown itself is signed uh, with their logo here, uh, with the MEC EXP logo. And as you can see, it kind of comes up the crystal. It's kind of like slopes up a little bit to go with that portion, bottom bottom portion of the case here, uh, which is not that bad. The band is floral rubber, like I did state. It's very comfortable. Now the battery is 270 mAh. And I must say the charge lasts a very long time. I've had this for like five days already, and it's not even fully charged and it's still running. So the battery life is very, very good. And flipping to the case side, the back portion of the case, you can see that's where the charger just kind of uh, connects with the battery. Um, that's where the charger connects with a magnet. Uh, kind of just snaps right on, uh, very easy. There is the spring bars you can see. And the back of the band has this nice little design with the MEC EXP embossed there, which I thought was a nice little touch. But yeah, very, very nice band. Real rubber, very smooth, supple, doesn't attract lint. Broken in straight out of the box. Really, really easy to read the time as well. Uh, right now, as you can see, 12, and then you get 20, 12, 20. And you do get that light as well. So if you want to light up at night, see the time, there you go, uh, which is pretty cool. I thought that was very nice. Now to actually, actually set the watch, you're going to push this three times in. Uh, one, two, three. Then it's going to reset there. Then after setting the minutes, you go up once more and you can set the hour there. One full turn, you get an hour, and then it just goes like that. Very easy to use. Uh, not too complicated here. Down, up, push it again. It'll roll back to the hour, and then you're set. 
very easy to use. And then you do get that nice little light there as well. There is actually loom on these little hands here, which are actually brushed. Uh, there is some loom on it. We'll shine it up. It's not crazy loom. The other model, uh, the blacked out version, had actually fully loomed numerals, which I thought was pretty interesting. I want to get you in a little closer. You can see the kind of little driven part, uh, part over here. It's kind of hard to really get inside unless you open the case back. Uh, but you could see what the CNC driven movement over here on those two long up and down rails. Um, really, really interesting, really cool, very legible, very easy to read. Definitely a cool technical watch. Um, kind of a geeky watch as well, but very modern and, you know, kind of, kind of reminds me of like, you know, something like an Urwerk, but like obviously very different looking. Um, just a kind of innovative, you know, way to tell time and an innovative movement as well. Now there's the watch planted on my 6.5 inch wrist and with a nice little sweater, it definitely looks really, really nice. Very light, I must say, on this floor rubber band. It's just really, uh, really light. It sits very flat on the wrist as well. It's not like bulky, it's not uncomfortable. It's very comfortable from a side profile. It doesn't wear too thick either. So that was just really, really, really nice, you know, wearing experience. Uh, the band itself, the buckle is nice, stays on the wrist. I got a perfect fit here. I have two extra holes and I have a 6.5 inch wrist. So if you have like a 5.5 inch wrist, which is pretty small, <laughs> Uh, you should definitely uh, no, have no issues uh, fitting this on your wrist. Up to like an 8.5 inch wrist, I'd say, or not even 9 inches, probably. Um, but yeah, the loom itself, i go ahead and show you. There's just loom on this model, just on those little hands there. If you can see, uh, if you can see that, just green Super Luminova on the hour and the minute hands. But the other version I did review, which you can check back in my video log, does have loom on the actual numerals. Uh, these numerals, numerals are applied and brushed, but they are very easy to read. And of course, now you can just hit the button and then you can get, you know, a good read at the time right there. So no issue with that. Let me get this off my wrist. But yeah, guys, a really, really cool watch. Uh, you know, they're under $400. Um, they do run some 10% off and stuff like that. I will drop a link down to them in the description below. Uh, there's a bunch of different, you know, models and variants of this actual model here. Just a really, really interesting watch and something that you can just charge up, kind of like an Apple Watch, but it doesn't have that you know, Apple Watch vibe where, you know, you're, you don't like watches, you're not a watch guy, you're just wearing an Apple Watch. This is kind of like the Apple Watch for the watch enthusiast, I would say. Um, but yeah, really, really interesting. Uh, I haven't seen anything else like this from any other brand so far. And especially at this price point, under $400, I believe this one's like $350. Um, sometimes they run uh, some codes as well. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual, of this watch. And uh, yeah, I will drop a link to them if you want to check them out. And you can check the other video I did review, the black uh, PVD version, uh, which was very nice also. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Definitely like the video, share it with your friends, comment down below. We'll talk to you more in the comments section. And let me know, guys. We'll see you on the next one.